Hey guys, today we are going to make a gorgeous spa luster. We'll show you exactly how to work with the layout and give you all the details on processing. So watch the video till the end. So what do we need to make a baluster? Well, first of all, we take some wood. We will choose pine. We will need a type meal, but you might want to get two meals, one for roughing and one for detailed work. Also, don't forget the safety goggles and dust mask. Our main help today is a Watson M1 1313 rotor. We also have this D100L1200 rotary device. If you are a beginner and want to learn more about the rotor structure, we have a video on our channel. Watch it by the info card on the link in the description. What is CNC rotor? How does it work? Okay, so why do you need a rotor device at all? Look, if you need to make a three-dimensional product such as fender legs, handles, balusters, you can do without this device. It works perfectly with plastic, soft metals, and hard woods, which makes it indispensable in fashion production. By the way, if you want a selection of the best machines for this business, let us know in the comments and we'll make a detailed video. The Watson M1 1313 rotor has a walk-on table. The gantry is reinforced. The all-wheeled bed provides great resistance to vibration and rigidity. We've also got some cool inductive sensors installed, which won't be bothered by dust, and the super handy Richardo A18 controller with a USB interface for easy control of the machine on all axes. If you want to learn how to use the controller, we will got the video, check it out. How to operate DSP controller on Watson CNC rotor. And if you are interested in the machine, you can see the info card here. Or look for the link in the video description. Let's get started with the project. We will use the Desk Proto program. You can model your baluster yourself in any 3D card or as we did. Take a ready-made project. Open the project. This is how the sketch of our baluster looks like. Select our machine, click OK. We need to tell the program that we are going to use a rotary device. To do this, check the box next to Use Rotation Axis. If you are doing it yourself or customizing it, you can create it with the right dimensions right off the bat. We took a pre-made layout of the internet and it might not fit the material we are going to cut from. So we need to trick the settings to make it work. The length of the material is 350 millimeters, but the length of the layout is less. To fix this, go to part, transform, uncheck uniform, X and Z axis change to 40 millimeters. This is the diameter of our wood. Y axis is set to 350 mm. Alright, so our layout's all over the place right now. We need to get it centered in the middle of the workpiece, which is a circle. To do that, let's go to the transform menu and set the angle to 90 degrees on the Z axis. Then hit apply and voila. Look at that. Everything is in its place now. Let's quickly check all the set parameters. Well, everything is correct. Now, go to geometry operation and select the cutter you prescribed beforehand. So, we choose the spherical 0.25 cutter. This is the diameter of the spherical end, the angle of the tip of the cutter, which is what it mills with. Distance between two passes we set 0.47 mm. Stiff size along two paths 0.89 mm. We don't change feed rate and spindle speed. Click Apply. Anyway, all these parameters can be adjusted while working on the DSP controller. Since our baluster has a cylindrical shape, 
and we are using a rotary device to process it. We need to change the X axis to a rotary A axis. To do this, go to strategy and check the box next to a round A axis and click apply. Check all the parameters and click OK. Now, save your layout when writing post the process for Desk Proto. It is important to understand what formats the program raise. We have Rich Auto, which works with the tape format. We click Save, and the program shows us an C program file in tape, a text document. We name the document and click Save. Now, we can see all the steps of the rotor. Each line is a step. The layout is done. Milling process. Let's turn on the rotor. If your machine original come with a rotor encoder, just connect it using the special connectors for the motor and the sensor. But if your machine doesn't have a rotor device, don't worry. It can still be installed. We'll cover how to do that in a separate video. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Now we can do the machining. Watch the machine carefully. Carefully remove the finished baluster. You can polish the baluster to smooth out irregularities and apply finishes as designed. Stain, varnish, or paint. Follow this simple guide and you can make a cool baluster yourself. Remember to be safe and take your time. Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, subscribe to us on all our social media, links in the description, and tag us when you use our ideas in your own projects. Thanks for watching. What's some and only well with you. See you in the new videos. Bye bye.